Guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's the Quadrot Shot. And we are here back on FIFA 20. Not back on FIFA 20. We are here on FIFA 20 in general. Now, I'm a little bit late. Um, I said I would be dropping a episode uh, on day of releases. Been a week since this game's been released. A week and a day, actually. So, eight days. And uh, we're doing a manager career. Now... I've already got a personal Leeds United career, so I've decided not to go on that basis. Also, a play career where I started at Leeds. Um, so, that's not a problem. So, we're going to go, you know, we're going to do a road to glory. Now, I've been having a look at some of the teams. Uh, I did a personal road to glory in the second league. They're not in this league anymore. Um, they were called CF Royce. And I think they had a, like a club worth of, I think, like 4 million. Um, but yeah, when I say road to glory, we might be switching clubs. Um, but yeah, no, we're going we're gonna to be working in the championship. Uh, not the championship, sorry, League 2. Now, Bradford... Bradford City, uh, that's very close to Leeds. Um, they got relegated last season into League Two. Uh, probably, you would say, statistics-wise, probably one of the best teams in the division uh, on the star uh, side looking. As we all know, Salford is owned by the uh, Class of 92. Um... And everyone just seems seems to uh, do this. Seems to do Salford at the current moment in time. But I'm going to be going for probably the hardest one, if I can find them. There they are. Markham. They have a transfer budget of less than a million. Club worth of just shy of two million. This is going to be an uphill battle for Markham. Uh, we're going to be playing on uh, professional, uh, four-minute halves. We're going to disable international job offers. They're stupid. Uh, I don't actually know what their stadium is called. We're going to so we're going to keep Town Park. Uh, if I can go and change it in the future, I shall do. Um, so, Mr. Bell is the new manager of Markham, and our aim is whilst we're here at Markham. As long as we don't get sacked or anything like that, the main goal for us is to move up the divisions. Now, we've got to go from League 2 to League 1, and actually from League 1 to the Championship, and then if we can manage it, the Championship to the Premier League. Now, I saw um, a while back, I wanted to do a Sunderland one on the uh, last year's game, the FIFA 19. But, um, you know, I'd seen uh, quite a few people uh, do a Sunderland from League One to the Premier League. And that's less of a challenge because, you know, Sunderland used to be in the Premier League. Financial crisis. Um, this, that and the other. So, you know, they, they still had a bit of money. You know, they had the stadium. You know, some players that were still with them. We are going to do pre-season, but we are going uh, to simulate it. You know, sometimes the difficulty, um, you know, you know, if you can't get far in a pre-season tournament, you don't get the most amount of money. So we're going to go for the 940,000 uh, offer, all equal difficulty with one star. So here we are at Morecambe. This is th how the team looks. As you can see, it needs a lot of work before we even get anywhere near to the Premier League. Uh, first off, the the job at hand is to look at our board expectations. So, youth development, uh, they want us to sign at least two players younger than the age of 20, with great, potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in that position. So, for example, I just saw briefly that one of our centre-backs was 58 rating. They want us, for example, they might want us to sign two centre-backs younger than 20 with a potential greater than 58, which shouldn't be a problem. Brand exposure, it's very low priority. 
uh, as we are a very small club. But in fairness, this should be higher, you know, to try and get us out there and making money. So sell out at least 85% attendance at 50% of our home games in the season. Continental success, naturally, nothing. We're in League 2, uh, the lowest televised division of English football. Uh, so we naturally aren't competing in the European stage just yet. Domestic success. They want us to reach the round of 32 in the FA Cup. That will be difficult because in if you know if we uh, draw like a Premier League side in, in the third round, we're going to be fucked. Uh, finish mid-table. I reckon that's a uh, easy, not easy. Uh, it's more achievable uh, to get mid-table. Maybe we might be able to finish in the playoffs in the first season. Well, you know whether or not um, we're able to you know push higher than that. So, this season they want us to finish with 2.7 million unspent allocated funds. We currently have a total of 1.5 million to work with. Naturally, we might want to focus on youth rather than bringing in players uh, just to help that out a tad. Uh, Champions Trophy, that's our group. So, we're playing Randers, St. Mirren and Skilborg IF. Uh, visions and expectations uh, just look through those and you know we've got the scouts not a problem now I haven't shown you guys my manager this is what I look like this is what we're gonna be looking for um, you know that's that's what we're gonna be looking like so first things first I do want to get the youth Academy set up straight away we have 900,000 to work with not too bad. Four star experience, so we'll find a large number of players ish and find decent quality players for 800k. I am fine with using most of the transfer budget setting this guy up. Now, because we're Markham, we you know, we 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 want to be realistic with where we're scouting. Markham probably wouldn't have enough money to go and scout in Russia or across the world. So we're gonna stick to England. Um, we're gonna fund it for three months as of now and we want um i think we're going to have to be solid at the back to, before we make improvements up front uh it can be likely that we can get a striker with you know um with high physical so he could be over six foot but relatively small but first yeah first of all first things first we're going to be looking for a physically strong player in england for three months that's going to finish in nov uh yeah in october sorry we've got 20k in the transfer budget now uh we're gonna have a look at the brief overview of the squad hub before i start simulating uh, we're going to go overall and we're going to sort. So, best player on the, our team is Mr. Aaron Will Dig. Cam, CDM and centre mid. He can be crucial to us um, as his squad role would Im imply. 27 years of age. You know, we can keep him at this overall for a while with, you know, with dynamic ratings and such. Uh, let's have a look at his stats, shall we not? Financial is on two and a half grand a week. Fucking hell. Uh, statistics wise, he's not the fastest. Um, technical, doesn't have the best finishing. Ah, yikes. This, this is going to be uh, a difficult season. Uh, 37, and he's still playing at Markham. Wow. How much is he on? He's on one grand a week. I'm not surprised. He's staying around at the age of 37. Um, 33. We have an age squad, it looks like. He's on loan, so we'll lose him at the end of the season. Uh, we don't have many youngsters. We've got this right back, left back. Probably the best young'un, but he's on loan. Don't know where he plays for. Um... Like I say, we do have an age squad. 28, 27, 40? Fucking hell, man. How much are you on? He's only... He's worth nothing. He's not even worth a pound. But he's on... But he's on a grand... More than a grand a week. All right, boys. All right. Standard. Good decisions there. But he's... So he's retiring at the end of the season. So we don't... We'll be netting a net profit of 1.4 grand when he finishes. 
Um, Michael Howard, 19 years of age, 54 striker. He could he could be good. He could be promising. 19. Now these guys, the young, proper young ones, are not even 50 rain. Wow. Okay. Uh, doubt they'll even be on the ultimate team. In fairness. Um. Not a problem. So first point of call, we will be simulating. Uh, but before that, we we're gonna we're gonna have a look at the squads. Fucking hell, these are not promising players. Oh no! Ah, we got we fully have no one who is promising. Ah. So I would assume these two would be the starting. These three, sorry. So Alessandra, Lewis, Alessandra, uh, Sean Miller, and AJ Leach Smith. Would assume those three would be our starting strikers, with Stockton as a rotation and Howard coming on for a game or so here and there. Fastest out of them is Sean Miller at the current moment in time. Uh, like I mentioned, so we're working on the centre backs because we've got two first team centre backs who are 33. Six foot three and six foot um, respectively. We do, most of our defenders are above six foot, so, and our full backs are tall as well. Um, this is, this, yeah, this is going to be difficult, but we're going to do it. All right, so first point of call, do I improve Stockton or do I, yeah, let's go Howard. Uh, we're going to go for hard, hard and hard. Um sprint speed yes that is a must we need him to be rapid or become rapid uh, at least passing wise um now nah, set pieces he needs to be decent at long shots i love taking me long shots if you know me that's what i go for 40 he's a left mid fucking hell so we're gonna be improving mr reese as well um a left mid relatively young uh, he's still got time to grow. Um, so that's what we're going to work on for the first preset. Uh, we're just going to do ST um, LM. Easiest way to do it. Just make a few presets and, and you're all good. So, yeah, this, you know, this first episode is going to be a bit of a longer one, I would believe. Um... Yeah, he's 24. Um, proper young ones are just shite. Pure bollocks. Fucking hell. Right. We'll get the cam. We'll get uh, the centre of the park trained in this one. So, Mr. Joe Lynch. Centre attack in midfield. He's got a bit of, you know, he's got a bit of potential. My man is 19. Uh, we've also got this cam at the age of 20. I think he's going to get replaced. Uh, just because he's taller, so he won't be as fast as Lynch could be. Uh, defensively wise, Kenyon is 640. Massive then. Uh, 26. But I reckon we want to be training up the proper youngsters. Um, want them to be good on the ball, so dribbling is a key. Uh, what else are we going to go for? Needs to be able to defend as well. So interceptions and stand tackling. That will be lovely. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll train him in a bit of... Uh, we'll just put uh, mid for this one. You know, we want him to be a bit quick. Good on the ball. Hopefully soon. Um, yeah. It's been a good day for me, you know, I played a bit of Ultimate Team. I think I'm like on a uh, six game win streak now, so that's cool. Uh, don't play much Ultimate Team again if you know me. Um, it's not my sort of thing, uh, really. This right back has a l I mean, he doesn't say he's got potential, but he does have potential. 5'11", George Tanner, 74 sprint speed, and he's already a 60 overall. This guy could be a guy we'd bring up through into League One when we get there. Obviously, there's going to be... We're going to have to do a lot of depth next year. Possibly with youth. Because a lot of these guys will be retiring soon. Especially Ellison. He is retiring. 
Uh, the goalkeeper's 37. He'll be retiring. Um, so we might just want to release him now and then just play Halstead. Uh, you know, for the starting games. Well, I mean, for this season, just to keep, just to grow him a little bit more. Not a problem. I'm also going to be training Cranston. I think I'm going to let Colan go. Yeah, he's a year younger, but for that difference in years, he's terrible in comparison. Um, want him to be able to pass. And he, nah, he, yeah, he needs to be able to pass. But I mean, sprint speed and ball control. That would be good. Sorry, I'm just thinking to myself. Uh, yeah, I, I want his short passing and his vision to go up. So I'm just going to put f um, FB for full backs. Uh, and then I think... I think I've already done strikers. Have I done strikers? Yeah, I've done Howard, Mr. Howard. So we're going to go... Um, Mr. Halstead here. Yeah, you see, he can still improve quite a substantial amount. And with goalkeepers, it's way easier to uh, level them up. Um, can we do him again? Yeah, so we can't do any more goalkeeping stuff, but we can do... Um, you know, like, curving and crossing and vision. So we'll have that. Uh, yes, please. And um, for the last last war, we will train uh, Mr. Brewitt. For the remaining uh, slots. So there we go. Then we'll do uh, death for defence. So first point of call, where we're looking weakest, would definitely be these youngsters in midfield. So we're going to go ahead and simulate these. Decent. Uh, the ratings are already going up. Lovely to see. Like I said, we will be simulating uh, all the way through um, the preseason. So I'll be back with you uh, when I've done a bit of training and preseason is finished. So I've come back actually just after the first game here, and we've already got a transfer request for Mr. Alex Kenyon. Uh, worth 300k, they're offering 310. Uh, he's a 62 overall. I checked the squad, he's not on the starting 11, but I do believe he's on the bench. If we go and have a look, as you can see, yes, he's a 62, and in fairness, he should be playing where Mr. 2 is. Um, then we look a little bit more solid through the center, and on that basis, I, I think we're just gonna. Um, reject that yes it's 300,000 that's what a third of our transfer budget but I mean if he's you know if he if we need him um, for rotation then I'm sorry but uh, he's not leaving uh, yeah I'll come back again if something happens so pre-season is over we didn't get out of the group stage unfortunately um, I think we were one point short, but yeah, 200 grand uh, for pre-season, so we're not too bad on the profit-wise, uh, hopefully, you know, because we're not bringing in many big signings, um, you know, it should be easier for us to uh, get some high turnover. The club worth will go up, though, with these youngsters going up in overall slight amounts, Mr. Jagner is now a 50 overall um, so he's developing Leach Smith again uh, we're getting too far nah, nah, nah. Um, yeah forgot to reject it effectively uh, but yeah no up until the start of the season now we will be training um, rotation wise so yes we'll do Mr. Larmin and then you know centre mids and centre backs and Stuff like this. Gagner. Mm, you want to take him on a loan? Uh, Finn Harps. That's an Irish club. Do you know what? I'm happy to him going out on loan. Because 
if he gets first team football he will improve more than training i do believe uh, I'm not too sure on that, but Macclesfield see seal a deal, 300 grand for Craig Clay. Um, props to them, I guess. Um, that's the previous one. We're going to go ahead and train the right back and the left back now. Um, so, you know, we have some depth when they're bombing up and down the pitch. I'm not sure when the first league game is uh, upon us. Um, broken down, they probably couldn't pay his wages. Crew Alexand Alexandra. I think they're in League One. Carlos Mendez. Are they League One? I'm going to accept that once again. You know, he's 20 years old. Um, might be worth him, you know, getting some first team football. Um, there we go, Cambridge United, get Ewan Henderson in. Um, uh, yeah, that's fine. Get these guys uh, up. So Mr. Tanner is his defensive awareness, start, stand and slide tackles, as well as interceptions have gone up. He's almost a 61 rating now, that's not too bad. Yeah, like I say, it's going to be it's going to be a long and heavy grind. Uh, I would assume it might take us longer than five seasons, uh, knowing what I'm like, to get up into the top flight, uh, if it's that quick. Uh, at all, Carlos Mendes Gomez has accepted, and he will uh, be with uh, Craig Alexandra for a year. Monthly scouting update. So, potential age 17, potential 61 to 81, uh, 15, 16. For now, so basically with how it goes, you need to look at their value. Uh, because if they're already a decent player, uh, they have a higher chance of getting to their full potential. So, looking at this, Mr. Griffiths is worth the highest. He's a 49-65 overall. Looking at that, I would assume he's in his early 50s. Uh, but, I mean, he's got the potential to go to an 81 rating. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and sign Mr. Griffiths. We're going to leave those for now. Scout them for another month, please. See what else you can find for me. Uh, let's have a look. A look, see. Oh, we have to look in the uh, youth squad, don't we? I do believe. It's like this little screen now. Down at bottom. Yeah, so he's a 52, so I called correct. 51, uh, not 50, <laughs> 52 overall, 5 foot 11, 17 CDM, uh, potential of 81. Sprint speed, decent. So he's, his physicals are good, uh, it's just his technicals that need improving. Uh, bear with me two secs, guys, and I'll be right back with you. Apologies ladies and gentlemen, now I am back, so uh, picking up where we left off, uh, this man's physical uh, stats are decent, the current moment in time, it's really just his technicals that need working on, I mean, he needs to be relative, you know, he's relatively strong for his age, uh, he's a defensive minded natural CDM player, uh, his stand tackles are good, heading accuracy and crossing is decent, naturally we can improve on those, uh, we're going to keep him in the youth squad, for n <sighs> I don't want to, you know what, we're going to promote him to the senior team, uh, my manager rating has gone up because of the potential thing, Eddie Niketia is an absolute G, but he costs way too much at Morecambe, <sighs> so... We can't make a training thing, but we're going to attend the first press conference of our managerial career Thanks, guys. and see what people are going to say. Morecambe's Champions Trophy early exit wasn't quite the debut fans were hoping for. How does it impact the squad ahead of their first competitive match? You know, I have faith in my team. Simple as. We have faith... You know, we need to go out there today and get the job done. Get some three points from the first game of the season. Can the team remain clear of the low end of the table? We must. 
you know, we must be careful. We don't want to be that fight at the bottom. You know, we want to finish mid-table, and we're not a bad team. Uh, we're building a winning team. It doesn't happen overnight, and people have their responsibilities that they need okay, to do. Not a problem. First game of the season against Grimsby Town. The squad I am looking for. Everyone is currently happy. Uh, we're going to put Cranston on because he looks like an absolute little gem. And Tanner isn't actually playing his, in the correct position. So we're going to start the 19-year-old here tonight as well as Mr. Sutton. Uh, we're going to start him at the back. Now, you see, this team, uh, with a little improvement on up top because they're old, uh, as well as... Uh, on the sides and through the mid it's looking decent at the current moment in time Mr. Griffiths is a 52 so you know he he's younger than Lynch and he's probably got higher potential than Mr. Lynch um, let's um, yeah let's have a cheeky look so uh, Griffiths is faster they have the same weak foot and skill moves defending and physical way better um, Composure and interceptions are better. Acceleration way better. And jumping, sprint speed, everything like that. Uh, Mr. Griffiths is better at. Uh, but yeah, no. This is the team we're starting. And I think we're playing at home. Um, let's just see. We are playing at home. First match of the season. First match of the road to glory. Let's go get them, boys. pitch on a perfect day in this stadium i'm martin tyler with me is alan smith and it's the start of the season for both these teams this looks like a really good game alan well so much hope for both clubs before a ball has been kicked nobody's made a mistake yet and as a player you just want to get off to a good start hopefully a winning one alessandra and number 24 sean miller So this is how we line up. 4-5-1. Works well for Leeds. Why can't it work well for Morecambe? That's the uh, mentality I've currently got. Naturally, everywhere needs improving. But for now, this is our best starting 11 on the pitch. I understand Ellison will be retiring at the end of the season. He's 40 years old, not worth a penny. But gets paid or more than a grand to play each week. So... There you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how Grinsby look. They've got two Lukes in there. There you go, Luke Waterfall, Luke Hendry. Uh, two Josephs as well. They're playing a 4-3-3. This could be a well-evened match. Let's see how it goes. Big up, Markham. Let's get the W. So we go to Wildig. Just gonna see what's going on here. See how the team feels in the opening minutes of this match. Mr. Kenyon's gonna find a ball over to Tanner. That is a terrible pass, but in fairness, Grimsby weren't playing any better. See what we can do here. Oh, Cranston almost getting the ball back now. He's got a, a run on his hand uh, here to defend against the Grimsby man. Whips it into the far post. Rooch with a diving save to keep us in it early on. Let's see what we can muster here. Uh, see if we can get a counter-attack going. Will, Will Dig driving through the middle of the pitch. Finding Miller who finds Alessandro. He's going to see the run made by... Elliston, the 40-year-old man with the first shot on goal for Markham this season. And it's underwhelming. Absolutely underwhelming. I'm going to have to improve with that. Alessandra here. Uh, taking the while to control the ball. Finds Miller. Miller plays it out to Sullivan. Sullivan's got a bit of room here. He's going forward. Sullivan 
with the first goal of the game in the opening 15 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not bad football whatsoever. Let's see if we can keep it up. I cannot complain with that whatsoever, but it's straight past, past the goalkeeper into the side netting. Big up the Morecambe Dons, Mr. John. First goal on the sheet. Let's see if we can keep this up. I don't know where Grimsby sit about um, in, in, in League Two, but I know Morecambe uh, almost every year uh, managed to stay up in League Two, uh, you know, they don't perform particularly well, but for some reason, they're able to stay up as Grimsby miss effectively, not, it's not even a sitter, it, I don't even know what he was trying there, Mr. White Cook, but, uh, Mr. Whitehouse, sorry, um, don't know what he was trying there, but whatever he was trying wasn't working out for him. Scunthorpe go 1-0 up against Swindon. Scunthorpe again got relegated uh, with Bradford last season. They did play... Oh, I'm going to play it back into O'Sullivan again. O'Sullivan at the near post. Ooh, unbelievably close. We are playing well. We are 1-0 up. Let's keep it going. We can't let off now. Grooms, we have had a chance already. Let's just make sure we... Don't mess anything up so far, uh, as that could have been a lovely ball. I think Green's going to get there. He does indeed. He whips it into the box, but way too near to the goalkeeper and not enough power on it to cause a problem. See a run here by Cranston. The fullback, unfortunately, didn't have the legs to keep that up. Starbucks is on the ball here. Miller, well in. Lovely tackle there. Uh, unfortunate deflection gives Grim Grimsby back possession in their own half. 30 minutes played. We're looking good. Looking good so far. Oh, Sullivan's going to track back and try and mark Green. Don't know what was going on there in his mind. Thought he'd just take a lie down. Whitehouse with another shot. Another that didn't trouble our goalkeeper, Mr. Roche. Alessandra. Finds Kenyon. What a lovely piece of play there. Kenyon, he's going to knock the ball long. Drops his defender. Straight in the centre of the net. 2-0 before half-time. We're looking extremely dominant in the early stages of the season here. The fans are going absolutely mental. That is what you call physical. With the long touch, drops the marker. Laced it. Back corner. 39 minutes played. 2-0. looking good here just before the first half Grimsby not playing the best but I don't know how Grimsby would play I don't know whether they're a bottom side of the table team uh, I know when we face Bradford and and Scunthorpe they will be difficult matches as Green has a lovely tackle on myself caught me unawares but Sutton with a lovely block there for it to go out Grimsby now have a um, corner so with two minutes left to play an extra time can Grimsby get back in this game uh, marking is a thing that was a header by Grimsby Town but nothing nothing comes out of it Kenyon bursting through but that's half time 2-0 for ourselves here at Morecambe lovely start so far see you guys in the second half second half is away here uh, at home with ourselves Morecambe and 
2-0 so far is lovely as Miller gets a great interception here he's going to turn he's going to wait for for some of his fellow statesmen to make a run nothing we could utilize as of yet um you know we want to seal this game off entirely as quickly as possible and not allow Groomsby to get back in this match um as green unmarked at the back post put it in the outside side netting first proper decent attack there unfortunate Grimsby couldn't get anything from it so Pogba's moved to Real Madrid wow I don't know why that I do not know why they're telling us lowly Morecambe uh, not for so long. Hopefully we'll be reached the heights of Real Madrid. Miller gets through. Lovely defend, lovely defending. Uh, defending, lovely save by the goalkeeper there. Miller went to smash that over the goalkeeper. We couldn't find anything. We're going to whip the ball in near to the back post. Unfortunately, great defending by Grimsby. Uh, hasn't been quite amazing as that is a dreadful tackle by myself. I think that'll be a yellow... Oh, will that be a red? Yellow, indeed, yeah. Didn't even get the ball, but Grim like I said, Grimsby, great defending there. Not so quite early on, but later on, wasn't looking too bad. Alessandra is not marked uh, extensively in the middle of the pitch. Manages to turn and find Kenyon. Kenyon, in turn, finds Ellis Ellison, who plays it wide to Cranston, who's blasting down at the... Uh, side of the pitch there as Ellison the veteran the 40 year old is is m def well not defending uh, marking for his life here to try and absolutely seal off any chance of grooms to be getting back into this game as Alessandra is taking his time on the ball here gonna find find Kenyon quick nice passing here gonna play it wide to O'Sullivan O'Sullivan's already netted one he's gonna not be oh my god Kenyon has just done a Patrick Blanford, ladies and gentlemen. He has just missed an absolute sitter on the volley. The ball bounces off the floor and goes wide and over. Unbelievable. Markham, uh, not Markham. Grimsby with the restart then here from the goal kick. Finds Hendry. Hendry in turns find Wright. Wright finds Hewitt. Then to Hansen. Then to Hensal. Whitehouse has had a couple shots on goal so far, as well as Green. These two are the, seems uh, to be the danger men for the Grimsby Town lineup so far. But a, a shocking pass attempt uh, allows me to find Ellison with that. And again, I went for too much of a big uh, pass attempt there from Elliston to the wing, uh, allowing Grimsby to restart from a throw-in. Lovely interception there from our centre mids. We are playing well. And we're going to find Ellison. I saw the run there. Playing down wide. What? Elliston, does he have any moves? Yes, he does. He's got a couple of his tricks. Elliston. Straight out of the goalkeeper, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, waterfall on the ball. lovely tackling from Kenyon Kenyon is playing unbelievably well I don't know how old he is but it looks this is lovely tick attack a ball Cranston the right back found his way very far up the pitch there but that was very good um, attack I can't complain the fancy footwork allowed us to get so far forward Macclesfield Town go level with Exeter Town Oh, Exeter City, right with a lovely touch and a long, <sighs> lovely scoop and a long touch, allowing him to make a break from my right back. Uh, bad throw, found straight out of the feet of the Grimsby Town members. 88 minutes played. Here, yeah. Will dig. He's he's gonna he's gonna burst forward. He's not really getting marked here. Dummied one. He's going to play on for Miller. Miller goes around the outside. Gets tackled in the box, unfortunately. 
last minute of the game. Can we get a third goal and just help the goal difference? Oh, ref, come on. That's not a good tackle. 90 minutes played. Three points for Morecambe here in the first game of the season. That's, that's how we finished. Three points, like Martin Tyler is saying, it's absolutely lovely for the first match game, match day, sorry, to get pick up three points with this team. We played, we played very well in comparison to Grimsby. Let's see if we can keep it up uh, throughout the rest of the league season. Guys, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please do drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, come to the channel. I'll be trying to pump this out as much as possible. Uh, yeah, comment what your favourite part of the episode was. What, you th what do you think to a uh, Morecambe Road to Glory? Yeah, guys, take care. Have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.